how does Steve Jobs of Apple get to be national news because he introduced a new pro- introduces a new product? Wouldn't you like to be able to be given the entire orchestra of the American media when you introduce a new product for your business? How could this guy get the whole media to get excited about nothing? A new gadget from Apple. What do you need a monster thing like that in your hand for? Well, iPad? It, it has, you know, references to uh, bodily fluids that I, I don't even want to go into. Well, who came up with that idea? To call a product the iPad when it has references to bodily fluids in it? What a mistake that is. I mean, who did they consult with there at Apple for that one? They should have run it by me. Uh, I mean, I know about what words and what they mean. iPad. You know, I... Uh, do I have to spell it out for you? It's like a years ago, a couple of 20 years ago, 30 years ago, a uh, car came out known as the, no, um, the Nova, the Chevrolet Nova. It was a fairly popular small car in America. They sent it to South America. Nobody bought it. Why? Because Nova means no go in Spanish. Nobody in General Motors knew that Nova meant no go. And no one bought it. It was no sell. The same with iPad. What guy is going to buy an iPad? Would you buy an iPad? I, I mean, I would be ashamed to own it. I'll let it go. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to get into it. We're all waiting. With a, uh, Hillary decides not to be there. Toyota recall, blah, blah, blah. I noticed that um, the hemorrhoid beat the wall banger in the rating system. That's going to kill the wall banger. See, the wall banger was a fill-in for Rush, and he did very well for a fill, and he's gotten away with murder. He has people believing him, and... Now all of a sudden comes along a bigger, a bigger faker than him, and the and the the uh, the other faker now outdoes the first faker. At least O'Reilly has a degree from Harvard. I mean, you got to give him that. These two, the two of them together, donate up to a high school degree. I like Brett Baer at Fox News. He's sober, reliable, centrist. I like him, and he's the only one who covered my plight with Great Britain. Greta Van Susteren, I never cared for. I she was always to me Scarface. I can't forgive her the three things. Number one, she's a liberal from CNN. B, she's with uh, Scientology. Schlepp Smith, I never liked. I don't go for the pretty boy look. And he's a lib. The other one at CNN, uh, Nancy Grace, how she stays alive, I don't know. How the woman doesn't collapse from her own disgust, of self-disgust, I'll never understand. Larry King, all right, he was around when Moses was walking the earth. You got to give him credit for still, you know, getting up there and punching. The others don't exist. The half creature there on the bottom of the list, the half thing that I believe her mother appeared in the movie as Pat, the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, and then the guy with the cow degree, no one listens to them anymore. Unbelievable. Then you got the fishmonger there, too, moving ahead of them. The fishmonger from the Lower East Side. Yeah, I'll tell you. I know everything. I'll tell you who I am. Yeah, them Republican. They want to burn the earth up. <laughs> Even she's doing better than Grace. The fishmonger, the pickle seller, the pickle saleswoman. She tried to get me on a show many times on CNN like I I didn't know who she was. The pickle woman. The pickle woman, I call her. I gave her a name already. You know who I'm talking about, right? I'm not even going to, you can't even mention her name. The pickle woman, the pickle woman's daughter. She looks like a woman I used to know on Delancey Street on a stand of pickles. They gave her makeup and she's on CNN already selling the same b- b- baloney that, that they would have sold over a pickle stand. <laughs> 